Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today there have been some big changes to my Reborn Nursery. So I'm about to do a nursery tour and I'm going to show all of you the nursery. So there's um, a new item, which is the bouncer of course, but a lot of things got changed around. Um, this morning, me and Joseph did something and I'm excited to show you. So let's, okay, here we go. So. When you first walk in, that's just like trash. Because I always have like, I don't know, like tags and baby clothes and just random stuff. I don't know. I use it for the trash for the baby lives too. It's just in here. So right here I have this little bouncer. So it's like a, it's not like a bouncer, but it's like a travel sleep thing. I just keep this blanket on it because I think it's really cute. My mom made this blanket for the babies. It is one of a kind. Handmade by my mom when she was pregnant with my sister. It's really pretty. And um, so I have Raylan and Ryan in here. Um, Raylan's wearing this cute little outfit and Ryan's wearing this. I changed a few of the babies today. I changed her in a video and I just changed him. It's really cute. He's wearing like a Valentine's Day shirt, but it's really not Valentine's. It's just, it can be used for Valentine's. Then in her stroller right here, we have Laura. And she is just hanging out in here in this really adorable mix and match mouse outfit. It's not mix and match, but I like made this together. Like this did not come together. Above Laura, I have the nursery sign. I know it's a little crooked. I'm going to fix it, but there's my nursery sign I have hanging up. Then next to her, I have Paisley in this Graco swing. And this is also like a high chair. This part lifts up. There is a strap, and I use, like, there are, um, she's like falling off. There are, um, straps and everything. And I used to keep her strapped in, but, like, when I do role play, I usually... Um, take her out and use other babies in this and I was like, it's not worth it to just keep s unstrapping her Just for that. So I just didn't strap her in because like she's not gonna fall out. She's going nowhere This if I actually put batteries in it, it would like it has a, it has six speeds it has an auto timer it has music all this stuff, but it has I'll Just insert it when I open it, but I can get it open um, It needs batteries but, oh, sorry, I was accidentally zooming. I was like, what is that noise? It's me accidentally zooming. Well, anyways, that, um, it would work, but I don't need it to actually work. So, she's in this. And this little, um, bouncer, this is from when, it's not a bouncer, I keep on a bouncer. This is from when I was a baby, like me and my siblings were babies, we used this. Same with this blanket. And this stroller was new from Walmart. That sign I made. This Swing is old for when me and my siblings were babies. And it's really cute. I like to just push it. Because it always looks so cute. And especially when you take out her passy because she looks so happy. I really like that. So. Yeah. Anyways. Moving on then. Those are um, some Adora babies. They're just kind of in a pile right there. Um, <laughs> then right here I have my new bouncer. Which has Shane in it. This is Bright Stars. I got this at Babies Are Us. So Shane is in here. He looks really cute. He can turn on the vibration and it'll actually rock him and then it has music at two volumes and it's really cute it has like toucan elephant toucan right there there's a lion here monkey here there's a bunch of taggies everywhere this one's my favorite taggy this one's really cute yellow one oh that one feels like a ribbon it feels different than the other ones this is the only one that feels like that I don't know. I can. Oh, this one's really pretty color. I can feel. I can see that like this would be nice on a baby's tongue if they licked it, like sucked on it. So the way, just the way it feels, I can tell it would be nice on their tongue. So he's in that, and he looks really cute in that. And then if I pull it out a little bit more, I can bounce him a lot. <laughs> but obviously, you don't want your Lou to bounce that much. Push him in a little bit. Then over here, I have some Paradise Galleries boxes stacked on top of each other, and then I put this thing on it, and this has Lily, Dylan, and Caleb, but this is a changing table that, like, changing mat that attaches onto the pack-and-play, but since I wanted more room in the pack-and-play, I just put it here as a separate piece. So, yeah, and then right here, there's just a little gap, and I have our home phone there, because that's where it was. There used to be a computer desk here, but we moved it, so, yeah, that was the major change. There's some space over there too. And then um, in the pack and play, um, oh, but 
yeah, pack and play. Um, this is from when we were little. This it's a Graco pack and play bassinet. So this is really old. We have Emmy Nishi. Um, oh, I, by the way, I changed Dylan today. Um, Cassidy, I changed her today too. Su Lin, I love her outfit. May Tyler, I changed his outfit today. Noel, Nicole, um, George, and um, Owen. Usually these four were facing out, but when I moved out, I was like, these four can face out for a while, or like all of them. I don't know, but I switched it so usually they would have been like on this side, but I switched it so we can like see them. But they're all in here. And yeah, my nursery, this is so much more spacious now. I have a lot of room on the floor, which I really like. When that wasn't there, there was a, so much room. I could probably do a cartwheel, but I put that there. And I wanted to like, I've been wanting to get rid of that desk because it was not, like it gave me not a lot of room and I felt like they were all really crowded. So now there's a lot more space. And I plan on getting more like bouncers and stuff because as you can see, there's a ton of babies shoved in this crib. There's there's 10 all just in there and I want them to be more spaced out so they have more room. So I'm really happy that I have this, but I want like more little things like that for them to go places. And obviously I could move stuff around and make it like I would be more space efficient to accommodate more things like this. So there's one that at Target that I've been looking at. So I don't know, but I do. I love these things, bouncers. So anyways, that is my new nursery. I just thought I would show you guys and I love all these little like props and stuff. I'd love to like have nobody in the crib so I could use this for like, I don't know, like night routines and just lay them down and make it look like they're going to sleep. Like I'd love to do that kind of stuff, but I just don't have anywhere for all them to go. I'd have to like just put them all on the floor or something and I'm not gonna do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this nursery tour. I am really happy with how my new nursery looks and I hope you guys like it too. Thank you all so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let me know what you think of the new nursery. I love how spacious it is and I'm really happy with how it looks. I'll see you guys later.